This is the 16th nanny to quit her job at Brown's home. Brown's wife died a year ago, leaving him with seven children. Brown was tired of working every day and had no time to look after the children. When he went back to the agency to find a nanny, they recommended someone instead. He said a nanny called McPhee should suit your requirements. That night, while the children were scratching the coke, McPhee's nanny arrived on his doorstep. She was so ugly that she didn't wait for Brown's permission to enter the kitchen and tell the children to stop their mischief. So she worked her magic, speeding up their movements until they got tired and asked her to stop. She stopped their punishment and returned the kitchen to its original state. She came to wake them up punctually at 6 a.m. When she turned to go downstairs to say good morning to Brown, the children decided to pretend to be sick together and watch them play the part of the sick fairy softly when she returned. She also cast a spell to keep them in bed for the rest of the day. She also prepared some hard-to-swallow food for each of them.